King Cobra. Just the name sounds like royalty, but this monarch doesn't wear a crown. It wears a hood. The largest venomous snake on earth, stretching up to five meters long. That's longer than the average car. And unlike most snakes, it doesn't slither away. It stands up. Imagine a snake looking you straight in the eyes. Yeah, nightmare fuel. Its venom is neurotoxic. It shuts down nerves, paralyzes muscles, and stops your breathing. One bite carries enough poison to kill an elephant, or 20 people if it's in a generous mood. But here's the twist. The King Cobra is actually shy. It avoids humans whenever it can, until you get too close. Or worse, mess with its eggs. Then the King becomes an executioner. Worshipped in myths, feared in forests, respected by snake charmers who, let's be honest, rely more on luck than skill. The King Cobra may rule the reptile world, but in the Venom Kingdom, it's only the beginning. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider, Australia's eight-legged nightmare. And honestly, that's saying something in a country where even the kangaroos look like they lift. This spider isn't shy or polite. It's aggressive, confident, and absolutely done with your nonsense. When threatened, it doesn't run away. It charges. Those fangs? Long enough to pierce a human fingernail. Nature really said, let's make a spider that can open cans. Its venom is a neurotoxic cocktail that hits the nervous system like lightning. Before anti-venom was developed in the 1980s, a single bite could kill an adult in 15 minutes. 15 minutes from ouch to obituary. And the best part? It loves hiding in shoes, garden gloves, and swimming pools. Basically, anywhere you'd least expect death to be waiting. Thanks to modern medicine, deaths are rare now. But fear? That's eternal. Because when something this small can drop you in minutes, it earns its title. And if you think Australia has the worst venom, wait until you meet a desert assassin that doesn't need eight legs to kill you. The Death Stalker Scorpion! And yes, that's its real name, because mildly inconvenient scorpion just doesn't sell the fear properly. This little desert assassin roams across North Africa and the Middle East, armed with one of the most potent neurotoxins on Earth. It doesn't kill fast, it kills painfully. Victims describe it like electricity running through every nerve, turning pain into an art form. Here's the part that blows your mind. It's tiny, barely a few centimeters long, yet it kills more people every year than sharks or lions combined. Proof that danger doesn't need size, just chemistry. Its venom overloads your nervous system, causing spasms, fever, and heart failure in severe cases. But scientists are now studying it to fight cancer. Yeah, the killer might also be the cure. Still, out in the desert, it's not healing anyone. It's waiting, silent, yellow, patient, like a grain of sand with an attitude problem. And if you think that's bad, the next killer doesn't crawl, it hops. The Poison Dart Frog. Bright, colorful, beautiful, and absolutely lethal. Every shade of yellow, red, or blue on its skin is nature's version of a warning sign. It's not there to impress you, it's there to tell you to back off, because this tiny frog carries batrachotoxin, one of the most powerful natural poisons ever discovered. Just two micrograms, smaller than a grain of sand, can kill a human. Some species carry enough venom to drop 10 grown men. Not bad for something the size of your thumb. Indigenous tribes in South America have known this for centuries. They coated their blow darts with the frog's toxin. A single shot, instant death. That's how it earned the name, poison dart frog. And here's the irony. In captivity, these frogs lose their venom completely. No toxic insects, no poison. Take away their jungle diet and they become harmless little pets. But in the wild? Every color on that skin is a flashing neon sign that says, touch me and die. And if you think the rainforest is dangerous, wait until you see what the desert's been hiding. Slow, heavy, and full of venom. The Gila Monster.
one of the few venomous lizards on Earth. Slow, lazy, and extremely bad-tempered, it lives in the deserts of the American Southwest, moving like a reptile that just woke up from a hundred-year nap. Don't be fooled by the sluggish pace. When it bites, it doesn't let go. Its venom seeps through grooves in its teeth, flowing slowly, painfully, directly into the wound. The bite isn't usually fatal, but it's brutal. Burning pain, dizziness, and a feeling like your hands on fire from the inside. And here's the strange part. It holds on and just chews. Imagine being bitten by something that looks bored while poisoning you. Despite the name, the Gila monster doesn't hunt humans. It just wants to be left alone. But disturb it, and it'll remind you that speed isn't everything. Sometimes, patience kills better. And ironically, that same venom now helps scientists make medicine for diabetes. From deadly toxin to healing power. But our final killer isn't slow, or loud, or even visible. It's silent, and it floats beneath the waves. The Irukandji Jellyfish Smaller than your fingernail, almost invisible, and yet one of the most dangerous creatures on Earth. It drifts quietly through the tropical waters of Australia, transparent, weightless, harmless looking. But one sting and your body becomes a war zone. The venom triggers what doctors call Irukandji syndrome, a fancy name for pure agony. Victims describe unbearable muscle cramps, chest pain, nausea, and a feeling like their organs are imploding. Blood pressure skyrockets. Panic sets in, and here's the nightmare. You're fully conscious through all of it. There's no antidote. Treatment is just keeping you alive until your body decides it's had enough. And the cruelest part? You almost never see it coming. By the time you feel the sting, the jellyfish has already disappeared, leaving only pain behind. It's proof that the deadliest killers aren't always big, loud, or obvious. Sometimes they're silent, transparent and they float right past you, unseen. Because in the animal kingdom, the quietest ones always whisper last. See in the next video. The polar bear, the ghost king of the north, an apex predator trapped inside a melting throne. This beast can smell a seal from more than 30 kilometers away. If you watched all the way here, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, hit the bell, and tell me which one you think could take you out the fastest.